Robert Snodgrass to say a, a week is a long time in football, but it feels like it tonight, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. Um, it's just the highs and lows of the Premier League. Um, I, I think that the way we've uh, went about our business second half just shows you the character and the belief. Um, and amongst uh, these players, we felt, you know, as low as could possibly be after a 7-0 defeat. Um, and, you know, it's just about believing and, uh, and keep going. Puff your chest out. Um, we need characters, we need men um, at this football club. And, you know, we showed that second half. But because it wasn't just a 7-0, it was the fact you were behind at half-time as well. It was a, a, another test, wasn't it? Yeah, of course. Uh, I, I think that, you know, the way we've um, went about um, our business in the second half was totally different from the first half. We, were, we weren't at the races. We couldn't get close to them. Fair play to West Ham, they, they popped it about and... You know, they get a they get a goal, um, and they'll try to hold on to that second half. So, um, I, I just think that when you've got the players we've got in our team, uh, we'll always get chances. Um, I thought, uh, you know, an unsung hero was Johanna Mander tonight. I thought he, you know, he, he chased every ball, and you know, he, he didn't get his goal um, that I thought he deserved. And uh, sometimes uh, you get this as a striker you'll go through a certain stage like that but what he did is he put his body in the line for the team and he, he chased lost causes and, and that's what it takes and What was it that was said in the dressing room at half time? Did somebody get up and say a few words? Because things did change as you say um, I, I just think it was uh, a case of you know, settle down and, uh, and try and pass the ball and you know, believe in yourself. Um, that that, that uh, unrestfulness kicks in when, especially, you come off the back of seven 0 and then obviously you're you're trailing one 0 um, You know, it, it does start to creep in, uh, but you know we never let that. Um, in the second half, we, as I say, we puffed our chest out and we we battled and we obviously got the first the first goal, and then there was only one team going to kick on and win it, and you know um, that's that's what happened. Even behind at half time, the fans stuck with you today, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, in the, in the first half, they were, you know, they were on a back a little bit, which you know is deserved because we weren't at the races. Um, you take that as a player, you know straight away how the fans are, are going to be on your uh, on your back because you know they're passionate and they care, and it's just it's just the way we did. That's why we're um, exchanging words at half time, and you know um, that wasn't it wasn't too bad. But I just think that you know the boys here, we keep going and keep going, and uh, we're a close bunch, um, very great set of lads, um, and you know. It was this time last year against Arsenal um, that was a turning point um, in, in the season, so hopefully that can be the case this time. Gary Hooper's told us that he, he spent a long time yesterday practising penalties. Yes. Were you practising free kicks at the same time? Yeah, I was actually. Um, I was. Um, I, I've been, I've been practising my, my free kicks. Um, you know, the manager's been saying to me, my, obviously deliveries have been first class, we haven't been attacking them. He, and he says, uh, I've put in two um, great deliveries in the first half, we didn't attack them. So, you know, I, I, as a player that's it's on set pieces, you need, to, you need to keep going and you need to just put them in the, the right areas and, and that's what, um, and that's what that counts. Did you know as soon as you'd hit it that was going in? No, I just uh, for myself, just try and get it over the wall and uh, and try and make the keeper work. That's that's my um, that's the most important thing. But I re obviously repeat, repeat, repeat. Just um, tr trying to do the, the the things and work on work on your game, um, especially when um, we get a, a defeat like seven seven nothing. Um, those those little bit. Um, extra effort on the training ground, I think um, it pays off, uh, and especially when you're going through a very difficult time, like obviously we were. So delighted, delighted for everybody involved with the club um, that we got three points today. You praised Johan Almanda earlier on for putting his body on the line, but come on, what is it with you at the minute? And you got another kick in the face today, another blow to the head. I, I, I get, um, I got a sore one against Man United. I wanted to actually stay on, stay on the park. Um, it was the um, the staff and, and stuff that took me off. Um, it says that I had to get took off because um, the, the the doc said I'd, I took a bad one. So um, and then I've been, <laughs> as you can see. I've been kicked in the uh, in the face um, today, so it doesn't matter the way um, what happens. Uh, the most important thing for me is I put my body in the line for this football club and for the rest of the boys because that's what we need to do um, if we're going to survive in this um, Premier League. Because you're, you're up against some top top opposition, um, and it takes hard work, determination, and, and you know that little bit of magic as well sometimes. And uh, and you know, as I say, I'm delighted because everything um, in the second half um, it paid off for us, and we got the we got the result. Amazing to hear you say you, you wanted to stay on at Old Trafford because from watching it, it looked, it looked horrible. Yeah, of course. Um, when I when I came to, I, I just remember the cross coming in. Then next minute, I, the, the doctor shouting, he's foaming, he's foaming out the mouth. So uh, <laughs> I think it was him that I think it was him that um, 
got me got more wor worried than anything. Um, but I was just saying, right, get me up. I want to, I want to continue. Um, because you know when you go through a, a nasty patch like this, uh, as I said, you need to, you need to roll your sleeves up and you need to go. You need to go for it. We saw that great celebration at the end. Everyone involved after the third goal, which you talked about the spirit earlier. But that, we, we saw it there, didn't we, with that? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, I did an interview with um, the media a few weeks back, and people were you know, saying about um, desire and different things. And you know, it, oh, you can see there clearly. You can see in the games we've played, desire, um, getting on the ball. Nobody's, nobody's. But that first half there. As I say, to you, we built, it wasn't good enough. It wasn't us. Um, we knew that. We knew we had better standards than that. And you know, we had two strikers up front tonight. Um, you know, the gaffer showed great character in, in doing that, especially when it's you know uh, the way it's been going, the fans and stuff getting on um, the players and, and the managers back as well. So um, you know, <laughs> it takes it takes character to, to to do that, and you know, it paid off tonight.